In my experience, most of the engineers don't understand the difference between flip-flop and latch. In most of the interviews, I ask this question, what is the difference between latch and flip-flop? They have no clue. So I want you to understand the concept, what is flip-flop, what is latch? Now look at this waveform, you can easily understand. So basically, we call this latch as a transparent device. Why? Let's look at this. Okay, so here, this is the input D, and this is latch, D latch. Here, you look at this, this symbol indicates it's a flip-flop. So we need to consider this as D flip-flop. Here, it's a passage flip-flop. And here, there is a bubble. So we have to consider this as negative flip-flop. So this is latch, this is passage flip-flop, this is negative flip-flop. For this flip-flop, you have to consider the positive edge. For this flip-flop, you have to consider the negative edge of the clock. And for this latch, there is no edge you have to consider the level. So it's called level sensitive device. Latch is a level sensitive device. Right? Now let's look at the latch. I want to explain the functionality first. This is the clock waveform. This is the input. Now let's look at the latch, the output. Okay, now the clock becomes active high. So during this level, whatever happens to the input, it reflects the same at the output. That's why it's called a transparent device. So here, the D is high, so it's going to stay high like this. And when the clock becomes low, it's going to retain the same value <clears throat> because it's a memory element. Got it? Now, this is where you really need to understand. If the clock is going to be again active high, whatever happens to the input, the same thing will be reflected at the output. It's a transparent device. So look at here. The same thing happens to the output. Now, when the clock becomes low, it's going to retain the past state. So in this case, it's going to stay high. Look at here. Once again, when the clock becomes high, it's going to reflect the input transparent device like this. Then it's going to retain the same value because now the clock is low. This is how the latch works. Got it? Now let's look at passage. When it comes to passage flip-flop, we have to consider only the edge of the clock. Don't consider the level. So, latch is a level sensitive device. Flip-flop is an edge sensitive device. All right. Now, consider the edges. Look at the lines. I'm going to consider this edge and this one and this one. Here, in this passage, okay, at this edge, D is high, so the flip-flop registers the value. And the output is not going to change until the next clock edge. So here, look at the next clock edge. Here, again, the input is high, so it's going to remain high till the next clock edge. Look at here. It's not going to change. Once it registers the value at the clock edge, the output is not going to change. Now, here, you look at this. At this clock edge, the D becomes 0. D is 0, actually. So, Q becomes 0 here at this edge. So, what happens in flip-flop? It registers the value at the clock edge and it produces the output. The output is going to remain same till the next clock edge. Okay? Right. Now, when it comes to negative flip-flop, you have to consider the negative edge. Look at the lines. So here, I'm going to consider this edge and this negative edge and this negative edge. Now, Q is zero. It is considering the negative edge. Q becomes one. 
and it's going to remain same till the next edge at this negative edge once again the d is high look at here so q remains high and at this negative edge d is low so q becomes low this is how flip flop and latches work this is the basic difference between latch and flip flop hope you enjoyed this session thanks for watching this video thank you